Hey YouTube, got something tonight. Uh, we don't usually do unboxing videos, and I don't know how this is going to turn out. So let me know if this is something you'd like to see or not. We got this today in the mail. We're gonna rip it open real quick and uh, do a first start on it. This is what I think it is. Three spare O-rings. Drill drive start. A little guy in there. Get this box out of the way. Get it taken out of that box. Set it back up here. There. This is a uh, instructions for it this is an m17b 1.6 cc so uh, this one here also requires three double-a batteries we'll get our batteries put in it let's turn it over see if we've got compression it does have compression and this is a no, this one's not a hit and miss. This is a throttle governed engine. And uh, we've got one for our a rocker up here for our inlet and one for our exhaust. Which, first impression, that's got quite a bit of slop in it. I'm bring you guys closer. But, okay. I'll get the batteries put in here. And, uh, this is our fuel tank. We'll put some of our 94 octane ethanol free VP 40 to 1 fuel in it. Alright, we got our batteries in. I'll turn our switch on. I heard it spark. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So we know our ignition system's working. Alright, let's get some fuel down in here. Oh, I have to take my rubber hose off the end of there. It just fits. Well, made a little bit of a mess. Get it wiped off. Well, it looks like this in here has. Yeah, those are very small bearings for our main. It feels nice and snug. That's a good thing. It looks like we've got fuel already up to our carburetor. Not sure which ways. Okay, so this would be idle and that would be wide open. We can tell because our throttle ramps up allowing more fuel on our main jet so all right well all that's good to go it does have compression put a little bit of oil on this up here just both of these rockers are pretty loose actually maybe they need to be we won't judge it yet we'll we'll run it first if it needs some adjustments we'll make them Get a little bit down here on our connecting rod just to be safe. And, uh, roll it up on top dead and I'll put a couple drops down in the cylinder itself. We know we're going to get lube from our fuel. 
never hurts to that actually has pretty nice compression honestly all right so what do you think should we try to start it by hand first or do you think we'll need that drill not sure we'll set the throttle about halfway we'll turn it on we'll roll it oh maybe we can choke it wide open maybe an idle it fires Look at that, guys. Well, now that we know that it runs, let's not run it too long. We'll get some water down in our hopper. And we'll fire it up and let it run a little bit longer. So stick around, we'll get some water in it. I don't know if you guys use these little syringes for anything or not, but I've got uh, a couple of these bigger ones and I try to keep them separated so I know what I use them for. And uh, yeah, cause I'm not sure how, how eager these guys would be to run with water in the fuel, especially. They don't hold a lot in that water hopper. But the whole thing isn't very big either, so I don't I can understand why. Alright, we'll put it back about where it was running at. Turn it on and see if it'll start for us again. Noisy little thing. Likes to jump around a lot. Higher RPM. We've got plenty of oil residue getting pumped out of it. Let me move this camera in closer you guys can get a better look at it. See if we can tweak this in a little bit. That was a nice clean board. We were making a nice big mess on it now, but I like to see that oil. And that's a good thing. It doesn't run that evenly, but it doesn't run that bad either. The flywheels look like they run really nice and true. Kind of an interesting little engine. I kind of like it. Let's see if we can make it idle down even a little bit lower yet. Mm -hmm. 
doesn't like to idle down that much. Let's see now that it's been run. We still have quite a bit of play in our rockers. Look at you guys where you can see what I'm doing here. I don't know if you guys can pick that up, but it feels like a lot for what it is. Seems to start up nicely though. Imagine after we run a couple tanks through it, let it get broke in. We won't tweak on it too much yet. We'll burn a couple tanks of fuel through it. Let everything get worn in together and then we'll see what we can do about it. Maybe doing some adjustments on our clearance and dial our carburetor in a little bit more. But yeah, interesting little engine. Like I said, I like it. I don't imagine it's very powerful, but it doesn't have to be. It's always fun to see something run for the first time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this too. Uh, remember... If you guys find this kind of stuff exciting, I know this is a short one, but remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think we can do with that turbine engine. Uh, I'm still not 100% convinced that that generator is all it's cracked up to be, but there might be something we can do on that. So, Alright. Well, hey, thanks again. We'll see you next time.